The debate about what is art and what is craft is heating up in Portland with a proposal to establish a craft market in Monument Square. Recently, a public meeting at City Hall brought the two sides together to explore the balance between a lively downtown art scene and what some consider creating a public nuisance. Bill Blood was there and has this to report. I'm here with Dory Waxman, uh, City Councilor of Portland. Dory, uh, what is the meeting all about this evening? Uh, the meeting was about uh, providing an opportunity for public comment and uh, a community conversation in regards to the proposed changes that the city is tentatively looking at concerning craftsmen selling wares on public city land. I'm Abbott Russell. Um, three years ago I came to Portland for the first time and saw that the streets were vibrant with artists. When I say artist, I mean someone who passionately creates. And even that isn't a definition because let's face it, Art changes with every decade, every day, and every moment. Art today is broad and amorphous. And when I first came to Portland, I noticed that the artists here reflect this. I asked them about the rules, and when they said that Portland was supportive of artists selling their work on the street, I knew this was a city I had to live in. While selling art in other cities, I was always treated as a nuisance. For the three years I've lived in Portland, I have sold my work on the street alongside artists who make items such as, but not limited to, wooden spoons, screen printed shirts, drawings, etchings, robots, rings, duct tape wallets, ceramic dishes, neoprene masks, sculptures, paintings, fiber arts, ornaments, necklaces, miniature cabins, functional items, or items just to look at, made with passion, in the hope that someone walking by would enjoy them as much as the artist enjoyed creating them. Up until recently, I loved that this city respected its street artists and acknowledged that they were an integral part of the creative economy. That's why I was shocked when my fellow, one of my fellow artists were being told to pack up and leave because what they were selling wasn't considered art. <coughs> I recently graduated from Maine College of Art where a variety of talented artists majored in ceramics, metalsmithing and jewelry, painting, sculpture, new media, graphic design, illustration, photography, printmaking, and woodworking and furniture design. Based on the city's decision to expel certain street artists, over half of these majors would not be considered art. When I found out about the proposed craft market, I was shocked again. This market would narrowly define art and limit the sale of certain types of art to one day a week for a fee. It's very important that um, you understand that uh, city staff is only doing what the council has, um, has written in policy in this city. They simply follow the rules that are in place. It, there shouldn't be any, um, any thought that someone is attacking the arts or going after the crafters. That's not what this is really about. This is about uh, the laws, in, may I finish? The law is in place and it has to be enforced. We're going to try to work with all of you and your collective voices. That's why we're here tonight to create a bigger body and a better vision for everybody. This is not, you know, we're really not here to, um, to say that we don't support the arts. That's not Portland. Um, I was a fiber artist for many years in Portland, um, and I have started another business doing creative things. I understand what you do. We all understand what you do, and we celebrate that, but we can't um, do it if we, unless we do it respectfully and together. We had some public safety issues that came up with the cruise ships coming in and a lot of the vendors crowding sidewalk. They weren't actually, it wasn't the vendors crowding the sidewalks, it was the, the people who were coming off the cruise ships crowding the sidewalks wanting to mingle and look at, at the wares that were being sold by crafters. And it was, it was a geography thing to me. It was, it was, you know, if we could spread out and find places where people could actually bring their crafts here and it wouldn't impaired the walking of the sidewalk for, an, I saw a, a couple of times, people have to go into Commercial Street, and that's not what we want. We want artists to be able to be on in a place where people can enjoy them and the sidewalks are cleared for people to safely walk. What direction is this going to go now? It's going to go to the next city council. Um, it'll go to the Health and Rec Committee, whoever the chair is of that committee. Um, with my recommendation, 
that um, a task force is formed and that stakeholders are brought into that task force to have a voice and to craft something that's going to work so that we can keep artists and crafters and, um, and performing artists working at a, a fun, vibrant level in Portland. The entire meeting on the arts will be broadcast right here on CTN channels 2 and 5.